change the belt as an RPM. I'm often in the Rocky Mountains. I don't want to have to worry about the belt. So what this is the alternator right here. Um, as you can see right there is where the bolt goes. So I take you can loosen this or take it out. In this case I've taken it out. Um, I put a marking here or where it originally lines up. So when I go to tighten it back up I want it to line up right there. Now if your alternator is hard to move, you could try using a pry bar or there's a nut on top, i zoom in there, right there. Loosen that up, probably have to loosen it from the other side. It is, uh, let's see here, 17 millimeter socket. Once you loosen that up now, it'll swing and you can remove your belt and then replace it with a new one there's part number it's a 2019 tri-pack evolution and put your screw back in right here not don't tighten it just put it back in line up to where you're supposed to be according to your marks and then tighten everything back up and you're done So I got my water pump belt off. You can see there's a pulley right there. Now to get the water pump belt off, you need to loosen up this housing, okay? Take the screws all, all around. You may even want to remove the front fan a little bit, give you more flexibility. Um, I would recommend using a 10 millimeter socket, six point socket, because there's a real chance that you could strip those heads. And those bolts so I've already done that for today so before I'm done I'll have to go find me some new 10 millimeter bolts so I put a box wrench on there initially and it just rounded the heads right off of it it's 10 millimeters so use a six point socket loosen up all this housing to give you more room move four bolts remove the belt now to move the belt on the bottom, you might have to twist it sideways to snake it through. Then get your new belt, put it on the bottom pulley, again twist it to get it through. This pulley is actually two pieces, so it comes apart. So you, when you get ready to put this back together, you put this part on first. Slide your belt over top of that. Okay, then once your belt's in place, put your other half of your pulley on there. Now I also recommend that you clean your threads while you're in there with a wire brush. Get any corrosion off there as you can. And it wouldn't hurt to put some lubricant on there, uh, maybe even some anti-seize just to keep those threads in good condition. All right, guys, here's part number for the 2019 Tri-Pack Evolution. Not too bad if you can get your bolts off cleanly without rounding them off. You might want to pick up some extra bolts or some extra nuts, 10 millimeter nuts, regular thread, uh, before you start, start this job, just in case you do round one off. All right. Okay guys, so what we have here is um, a Google search for the water pump belt. And you can see on eBay OEM going for $28.44. Now last time I purchased it OEM, I paid $21.67. But you can see, you know, some prices are way out of line. Here's eBay for $55. Um, you know, you could scroll through here. You know, there's it on Amazon. Um, and, and you can just shop around for the best price. Now, here is Thermal Byproducts, who I used before. And it's an aftermarket part. 
so it's not OEM, but it's only $8.50. It's a pretty good belt, you know, so definitely you want to check out Thermal Byproducts and shop around. Um, o, uh, aftermarket parts sometimes are just as good or, or even better than OEM parts for a fraction of the cost. And then I would recommend replacing the belt at least annually, whether it needs it or not. That way you have the assurance that you have a good belt on there. And then carry a spare in your truck as well. So you want to inspect that belt, look for any cracks. You want to look for any frayed threads, any kind of excessive wear on the tread line there. And um, even if it looks good, I would still replace it at an annual PM. You know, when you're doing an oil change, uh, at least annually or 2,000 hours, go ahead and change that water pump belt and that alternator belt. All right, guys, that's a, my recommendation for thermal byproducts.